When most people think of data analysts, they think of people that are software programmer adjacent or number crunchers or a combination of the two. Data analytics is so much more than that though. It's about using data to tell a story, to identify new opportunities and to inspire action. And that's where creative thinking comes in. If you're new here, I'm Jen and I demystify analytic skills and careers. You can find resources related to analytics skill building down in the video description. Creative thinking is the ability to come up with new ideas, to look at things from different angles, and to connect sometimes seemingly unrelated pieces of information to create a complete picture. It's an absolutely critical skill for data analysts and we're going to look at three reasons why. The first reason, uncovering insights. Data analysts that can think creatively are more likely to uncover different trends and insights that others may miss. They're able to do this by looking at the data from many different angles, by pulling in more more pieces of information and looking at how it interacts with the information that maybe you were already looking at. And sometimes pulling together these seemingly disparate sources of data can make all the difference in the outcome that you get. Let's take an example of analyzing sales data for a retail company. It's no secret that sales tend to have trends around them, whether that be seasonally or even by day of the week where retail locations tend to be busier on certain certain days and certain times of those days than others. A data analyst that's thinking creatively may incorporate something like weather into their sales trends to see is there an impact depending on the weather, how much people visit the store or the types of things that they purchase from the store. We know seasonality certainly has an effect. If you live in a climate where the four seasons are prevalent, you're not going to see winter coats in the middle of June in the US. You're going to see them in November and December, you're going to see them in the cold months. So we know the types of products that are sold does correlate with the seasons, but maybe there's even more seasonality or weather dependency than that. And maybe this differs by region of the country. Certainly the things that sell in July in Florida are probably quite different than the things that sell in July in Washington state, where things might be a little colder or cooler year round versus Florida where it's hot weather most of the year, or the cold weather at least is hot for some parts of the country. This type of creative thinking can lead to new sales opportunities. It can lead to a competitive advantage for certain companies. Reason number two that creative thinking is important for analytics roles solving complex problems. Data analysts who think creatively are better able to solve complex problems because they tend to approach them from many different angles. They're able to come up with innovative solutions to difficult problems and look for opportunities where other people might see roadblocks. They are still potentially roadblocks, but a roadblock can still be turned into an opportunity. Let's take another example. Subscription-based anything is all of the rage right now. Let's look at customer churn for a subscription-based platform. A data analyst thinking creatively may identify patterns in customers most likely to churn based on life-changing events, maybe a move, a graduation, uh, welcoming a new family member, a death in the family. All of these things can really affect how people interact with the world around them. A data analyst thinking about these problems may be able to work with the business teams to come up with innovative or customized retention offers that cater to people going through these sorts of things and make them more likely to stick around. That could look like pausing the subscription for a certain number of months or offering something more or less, changing the pricing, adding some dynamic elements into how this is handled. Those are skills that when you're thinking creatively, you can really come up with innovative new solutions to problems. This type of creative problem solving can help companies save money. It can help them increase efficiency and it can generally increase customer satisfaction with the company and with the product. Reason number three that creative thinking is key for analytics roles, the ability to communicate effectively. Data analysts who can think creatively are more likely to be able to 
communicate effectively. Some of this comes back to things like context, understanding what the consumers of your information need. If you perform a really complex analysis and get results out, but you're unable to communicate it back to the people that need the information in an effective way, then you really haven't done your job because it doesn't just stop at completing the actual analysis. It's also communicating the so what, why does it matter? Why should you care about this? What type of action might you want to take based on the information that's been found? This also takes us into the space of visualizations. Visualizations tend to be easier for people to consume. So by creating visualizations that are simple and clear in their messaging, you're able to communicate more effectively and really more efficiently at the same time. In a world where data only continues to gain more more and more importance in how we operate around many different aspects of life and certainly in business, the ability to think creatively around your data is a great skill to build to help set you apart. And that's true of data analysts or business analysts or people that really aren't heavily working primarily with data in their job. Creative thinking is a massive asset that you can build over time and is a fantastic soft skill that all employers are looking for. Thanks so much for watching.